Round number three comes to us all the way from Finland with our good friends, the Finnish Navy. Now, you guys know, if there's any other foreign service group that we love, it's the Finnish Navy. We constantly talk about the Finnish Navy. So many listeners are like, Chaps, enough already with the fucking Finnish Navy. My God. Well, this week they were in the news because they went viral on TikTok, which is happening all over the world with different military services. But this time it's not because they were snapping and showing each other being a boot, changing clothes, changing different uniform from uniform to uniform. This time it's because they took a beloved children's classic from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and they danced to that as a different character. to Mickey Mouse, the intro song to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. And in it, part of it is that each of the characters do a different dance to the different parts of that song. So uh, like Mickey's doing a wiggly arm thing. Pluto's mm -hmm. doing like a wacky, goofy dance. Like Minnie's doing a little jig or whatever. So these four Finnish sailors, each of them is being one of the Disney characters as they go across. But the real problem was, was not so much that they were being goofy and silly. It was where they were doing it, right? Yep. So the, the Navy was kind of upset with it at first, like the Finnish Navy was, and they actually considered investigating the video to determine whether the sailors had endangered operational security by shooting inside an active duty vessel because people are really up in arms about that. I remember two years ago, I think it was that when First Lady uh, Melania Trump was riding around in Air Force or in HMX one, mm -hmm. and she took a video and it got the control panels. People freaked out about that because military folks are just really close to the vest about all that stuff. So the Finnish Navy sees this video going really viral. I mean, even where we're seeing it over here. So they decided to investigate it. Luckily, the Navy decided that there was no need for a preliminary investigation. The paper reports there. The conscripts have been spoken to and reminded that the defense forces need for security. So they talk to them. They give them a counseling. They probably told them to shove it up your ass type of thing. <laughs> well, in the end, the commander of the Finnish Navy, the entire thing, the admiral there, he felt compelled to hand over a challenge coin as an informal affirmation. I bet that this made whatever the equivalent to a Finnish sergeant major in the Navy is. I bet that made them pissed. So oh, the like commander, giving... <laughs> the commander was like, "Sorry, we put you guys through all that. It's a great little goofy wacky dance you did on the on the plane. Here's a challenge coin." Yeah, and he so said he you're felt saying... it showed the Navy and the system in a positive way. Right. Do you guys but, agree? But, well, to Chaps' point, I think. <laughs> whatever their equivalent is, was just thinking to himself, my God, what is my Navy coming to? You know, I think of all the shit military people put online that is so heinous and so disgusting mm -hmm. and so, like, no, whatever. No, yeah, you're right. The blame, right. I feel like this, to me, if you're upset about this, then. I personally am not <laughs> upset because you're right, because there's so much trash that we've seen in re in the news recently but about I feel the like military doing. Hardos were more upset about this, like, oh, than if, like, you know, seeing I, their own service yeah. member put down online or something like that. But you so, know what? You got to look know. at it from the morale standpoint, too. Them making this video and it going all around the Finnish Navy gave them a little clout and they get the, the coin. That probably puts them in good spirits, helps their morale. So why not? Even if they have to hear people go nerds yeah. every time they walk through the, yes. the bulkhead, yeah. You know what? I'd rather them be dancing to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse than walking around with a fucking umbrella. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Whoa, well, I think we can all agree there. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. Uh, now, yeah. this brings up mil military TikTok. I know we were we on another episode of this, we were talking about how our military is like, please stop using TikTok, U.S. military, because Chi it's created by China, yes. and you never know. I think secretly it's because they're so embarrassed by the things we do on it <laughs> that, like, you get... Yeah, it's a great way of, like, um, clouding what you really think. Like, oh, wait, hold on, this is OPSEC, man. You can't be using this. And meanwhile, you guys look like a bunch of idiots most of the time. Well, there's this group from Air Force that's it's the four Air Force cadets who are doing those dances who they are going super viral. I love them. I yeah. like it. We're human beings, God damn it. We <laughs> like to dance, too. I don't know. I know a lot of hardos will roll their eyes at me, but I can't help it. Yeah, but do we have to dance like that? <laughs> <laughs> True. I know. And... It's always funny because whenever it's the Marines, I, I really don't care when it's Marines that are doing that stuff, but I like it when it's other branches of service because without fail, when those Air Force dudes get posted on a different page or something like that, it'll be like other Air Force members are like, man, this is why people make fun of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is hundred <laughs> percent. Yep. <laughs> I, was like, I guess overall people's beef with it was that they got a challenge coin for it was another thing that like, great. It's one thing that they were exonerated from, like, showing us a 
secure part of whatever cargo bay or whatever, but now they're getting a challenge coin for it. So on Zero Blog 30, our guy Kyle asked, what is the dumbest thing you've ever seen someone get an award for? Uh, and a couple of the answers were pretty great. At Brent Schmidt said, two soldiers at my first unit got AAMs for standing at the pin for a closest to the whole challenge verify longest drive challenge at the battalion <laughs> golf tournament. So they, they, they were just the golf ball watchers at a tournament and they got AAMs. What is that? An AAM. An army, an achieve, uh, an army achievement medal. Correct. Uh, here's one. Our CO was in Millington. This comes from us from at just call me Doug. Okay, Doug. Uh, our CO was in Millington, but came to California for a visit. He said, ask me any question about anything and I'll give you a coin. I knew he was an LSU fan. So I asked him what he thought of coach O. I got a coin. Uh, somebody said I got at Cuppy Cups. I got a Mickey Mouse statue for staying overnight at Disney's Animal Kingdom during Y2K to do God knows what if the animals got loose. Nothing happened. Is that true? I mean, yeah, because I, I know word. this guy. He he was a pilot and uh, I, I believe the Navy went to to Texas A&M, one of the other military academies. And so whenever I asked him, I was like, Cup, you got to give us more information here. He's like, there is no more information. I was. Uh, just a cashier at Animal Kingdom, and we had to stay and make sure that none of the animals get out. I mean, if you've ever been to Animal Kingdom, which it is a delight if you haven't been, mm -hmm. you get to ride around in these cars. You get to see all the – there's, like, lions and shit in there. What are you going to do if you're yeah. a cashier like checking people out? Like, lion gets out. What, what, now what? What do, what do you want yeah, me to do? Yeah, you're selling somebody a goofy plush doll. The next thing you know, there's a zebra running through the place. <laughs> like what are you going to do? It's like, it's like real-life Jumanji. Exactly right. Come I on. love the thought of them nervously looking at the clock tick down to midnight like, this could be it, guys. <laughs> like, where's the lions at? I mean – a couple a couple gazelles take off through animal king and be like give me three lance corporals right damn now yeah <laughs> i also love that they for putting their what they thought could possibly be their lives on the line these poor cashiers at, at animal kingdom that they got like a mickey mouse statue for like what um <laughs> but people almost, who work at disney strange. world people who work at disney world eat that shit up they probably that's probably like getting a dundee for oh them, where they're you give it to them and they're just like Oh my God, a Mickey statue for sure. Disney, I mean, look at fucking Jordan Barry, weirdo. She oh. loves. <laughs> she's, People are probably she's like, lovely, I'll take the snake but she's pit. a Disney yeah. nut. Oh, it's insane. This one I like a lot. This was Jake Ozachowski said. Our CO said he would give out AAMs to anyone who donated blood twice before we left AIT. What's AIT? Advanced individual training. Okay, so fully knowing, he said that fully knowing it was impossible because of the 60 day rule between donations. So I guess the school was shorter than 60 days, mm -hmm. and the CEO was like, I'll give AM, AM to anybody who donates twice. Well, the company basketball team did it and got destroyed in the post playoffs because of it. So they lied so they could donate blood twice within a 60 day span to get these AAMs or whatever. They should have um, got a leper, letter reprimand for being untruthful. Yeah, this is, oh, I love this one. At Packy Wagon 41 the entire ship service division of my ship got NAMs for keeping the soda machine stocked. Hey, <laughs> I love. But the comment under with, that one is soda. really good because it's like, imagine if the soda machine wasn't stocked, everybody would be furious. This is true. This is true. But there was a ton of really good. I got coined by a four-star general for taking his bags to his hotel while he was passing through. Um, <laughs> Somebody got a NAM for making sandwiches for the XO. I don't know if that's true, but so, some of these were really ridiculous and really fun. But for sure, that's like one of those common scuttlebutts oh. in the military is like you and your buddies being like, I can't believe they got a NAM. They didn't deserve it. Blah, blah, blah. Like mm -hmm. that. Like, Have you guys ever actually been coined before? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I ever have. Like in all my time in, I don't think anybody ever tried to coin me. Like, just, like, I never carried him around. I always thought it was kind of weird. But now when we go places, like Seth Moulton, for example, his office was unbelievable, the amount of coins that he had. I wish I would have kept them. The only ones I've ever kept, Cal Carpenter's coin. He got I got... Me. I have that one. I have his. I have the one from Trump. But I got one from Leon Panetta on my second tour. He landed... Oh, long-time stoolie Leon Panetta. Brick by brick Leon Panetta. He landed. We were... Um, <laughs> Part of our unit was MPs. I was physical security there, but part of our unit was MPs there. And when his plane landed, this truck had gone missing a couple days before and had uh, like a fuel truck or whatever. And somehow it's hard to imagine how does a truck go missing on a base, but it did. Mm -hmm. And when Leon, it's Panetta's, not really that hard. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay. When Leon Panetta's plane landed, the guy in the truck, he appeared again. He set the truck and himself on fire and tried to drive towards Panetta's plane. And oh, one of our staff sergeants actually got a purple heart because then the guy was on fire. He jumped out and jumped onto my staff sergeant's vehicle. My staff sergeant reached out, tried to peel him off and got his arm burned, trying to peel this burning guy off. Holy Crazy. Moly. Sorry. That's yeah. a lot. But uh, but anyways, everybody Jeez. got everybody got cool coins because of it. So 
I'm the same as you. I thought, I thought that was going to be like a story about a squirrel popping out of no, nowhere. Next thing you know, a guy. That's actually fire. a legitimate story. It was crazy. Legitimate yeah. reason to get, get a coin. Um, but yeah, that's the only like legit coin. I mean, I didn't do shit. I wasn't there, but I was like, yeah, yeah. coin. I wish I <laughs> did more with mine too. I just, I think they're just sitting in a bag somewhere, but they're then the you go pods. and see people. Yeah. They're kind of like pops. <laughs> like you pops. see people with like Slammers. these ornate <laughs> displays in, in different ways. I've seen them in, did, did Malton, did he have a coffee table of them? If yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah. Malton had a coffee table. Yeah. And then different display type cases. And I, I wish I had kept up better with them. Everybody makes fun of them, but everybody's right. got that satchel. But of now them I somewhere. wish I had them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to round number whatever we're going on. Five, four, <laughs> four, four, four. four. 